Man, I drove to work today with all the windows down and the music blasting like I was 16. <laughs> all right, I'm going to talk to Rob Black now. It's time for winners and losers. Robbie can relate. You know what I'm talking about, right? You're a big winner. Right. You have your own perfume <laughs> called Forever Teen. So that's well, how I see you. I just, it was, there was something really weird and like parallel about turning 57 and I suddenly just got this urge to, I felt like I was 16 and I put my do, my, my foot out the door while I was driving. Have you ever, have you ever done, have you done, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> much well, more practical than you. <laughs> so I just thought when I was a kid, this was so cool. I got my license. I put my, my foot out the door while I was well, driving. Sorry, let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> you're in great shape. You're in news. Well, because well, you're in great shape, you're going to live longer than me. Uh, so you need to save more money than me. That's uh, why we talk to each other. The money. Here we go. Here we go with the money. All right, fine. So how's my money doing that's invested in the 401ks and stock market? Um, it's not bad for this year. We're down slightly, but the inflation numbers are what's worrying. That's so everything that you have buys seven and a half percent less than it did last year. Um, inflation's up seven and a half percent year over year on the consumer prices. We see it in rents. We see it in gas. We see it in labor costs. We see inflation everywhere. It's as bad as it's been in over 40 years. Um, roses are scarce. Violets are too. For your Valentine bouquet, you'll pay double this year. So some 12 uh, roses, a dozen roses are going for 120 bucks. 250 million roses will be sold this year. That's crazy. And uh, Peloton, this was a fantastic story. I wish I could uh, have video of this if someone has it. Um, they just fired a lot of employees and they did a Zoom meeting to get everyone all happy and like, here's our new vision, here's our new vision. Yeah. Whoops, some of the old employees got the passwords and crashed and it started screaming at the CEO. What? Like, I had to sell my bike to pay my rent. Oh um, my God! The, the so the ultimate Zoom crashing or fo uh, photo bombing, so if you will. Oh, that's so they got they got the they got the last word. They had the, yep. the last laugh, I guess. Ooh, um, uh, okay, how about here's this funny thing, right? Disney, you're gonna tell me how they're doing with streaming, and I just realized yeah. I don't pay good enough attention, and I go, oh my God, I'm still paying for that app, and I haven't used it, so I need to I need to use it. Well, the average American pays six sixty eight dollars uh, for the Disney app, so they have a lot of room to raise prices because Netflix, the average user, is spending about $14.76. So that's the good news for Disney. The bad news for Disney is Boba Fett doesn't make any money. Boba Fett loses money. The good news for Disney is that we're going back to the record, uh, not record, but second best quarter ever for the theme parks. And I'm saying Boba Fett and uh, the Beatles don't make a lot of money, and Kana does. And then they sell the plush animals that do, and the plush dolls are massively uh, profitable for Disney. And then the, the parks are the second highest totals ever. So we're buying, you know, expensive sodas, expensive toy dolls. Um, Disney had a fantastic quarter. They hinted that they're going to be uh, bidding on the Sunday NFL ticket. But from a COVID story, the second best quarter ever for the U.S. parks tells us that they're back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that they're means fun. You and me are traveling, and we, you and I are spending. So that's that's a good thing. I love Disney. Had a Disney. Great quarter. I love Disney. And then I do, but they get me when I'm in the park because I buy all that stuff you're talking about, like all the tchotchkes, because it seems like such a great idea. And then you get home and you're like. I'm going to walk around San Francisco with a Cinderella t-shirt? Like, I don't think so. You know what I mean? But it seems so natural in the park. Yeah. Uh, and just so you know, Disney sells wedding gowns now, uh, princess gowns. Uh, really? Inspired by their movies. Oh, my gosh. They're a wedding gown company, too. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Um, and, and I guess uh, people are going into debt to buy all of this stuff that they want at Disneyland and everywhere else. Well said, and it's the worst possible time because interest rates are moving higher. So this year, your average credit card uh, interest rates could go from 16% to 17%. We just increased credit at the second largest pace ever. Um, we have $860 billion in total credit card debt. Uh, the highest record was 927, 927 billion. During the pandemic, we paid down some of our debt, but we're going right back to spending, Daria. And if people have you know trouble, um, seek help. Uh, mm, Consumer yeah. Credit Counseling of San Francisco. You can Google it. And uh, credit card debt is bad debt. College debt is good if you get a math or science degree. And house debt is lovely because it's low cost and it doesn't adjust for inflation. Your, your cost doesn't. So it, it doesn't inflate like inflation does. All right. I'm going to leave you with something that, that I hope inspires you not to be curmudgeonly as you get old, Rob.
I'm, 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 I'm okay. going to be cremated. I, no, I can I see. I, no, I see it coming. So I'm going to head it off for you because I feel youth is wasted on the young. People say I think yeah. that age is wasted on the old, the old that are curmudgeonly because you're aging. Enjoy it. You get. Guess what? You get to age. Would you like the alternative? I'm not buying what you're selling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> they'll, well, you I'll, I'll talk to you on your birthday. I'll, I'll inspire Happy birthday. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and you let me know when your birthday is so I can pump you up a little bit. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you have a question for Rob, you can reach him on email or tweet him or reach him on Facebook.